tell you what we're going to do over the next half hour or so. All right, we're going to do three things. We're going to talk about uh, something called fractions. Now you've all heard of fractions. You're probably sick of fractions. You've been hearing about fractions since you were this big. But we're going to talk about fractions again. And we're going to talk about fractions and how to turn fractions into something called percents. Now, how many of you, perhaps, maybe you don't remember how to turn a fraction into percents, but how many of you in your history have turned fractions into percents? We're going to go over how to turn a fraction into a percent, and I have, like, nifty calculators for you to, like, work with. All right. Yeah, that's a big lot. All right. After we do fractions to percents, eyes are up here. Eyes are up here. After we do fractions to percent, we're going to do this little activity with uh, three circles. And I'm going to do one of them on the board, and then each of you is going to do this decimal number. Are you with me? You with me? You with me? Why are you sleeping? I'm not sleeping. Why is your head down? I, don't put, I wouldn't put my head down for you. Please don't do that to me, okay? Uh, I mean, I just want to do that to you. All right. So 9 divided by 10 is 0.9. You have an idea? Uh, Nothing wrong with it. We're wrong with any idea here. Multiply by ten. Multiply by ten. All right. If we multiply this by ten, we're going to get nine. Is nine out of ten nine percent? No. No idea. Please put that away. Please. Let me tell you how to how to move from a decimal to a Good, that's okay. Three divided by four. Everyone do three divided by four on their calculator. Everyone's punching a button here. Three divided by four. Do you agree with Sharika? Yes? Yes? That was a question. Do you agree with Sharika? Yes. Oh, very good. You do have mouth. No. Yes. You have two choices. Give it to me or leave. Those are your two choices. All right. Now pay attention. Three circles. Four. 100%. Four. Four out of four. So that's 100%. How many people out there of the four? You need to keep your hands up there or you need to get out of the room. <laughs> Those really are your two choices. And their parents are expecting them to do that, and they need to meet me halfway, or more than halfway. And I just am very clear, I will not tolerate X, Y, and Z in my classroom. It, do, it just won't work.